In this video, we are going to go over the linear pair theorem, but before we jump into that, let's go over the angle addition postulate. The angle addition postulate is the 11th postulate we're going over in this series, so we're going to call that P11. So what the angle addition postulate says is that if x is in the interior of angle ABC, so x is some interior point, then the measure of angle ABC is equal to the sum of the measures of the angle ABX and angle XBC. Let me go ahead and draw a picture of this so you can see it visually. Here we have our angle ABC, and X is in the interior of that angle. So let's place X right here. Now we're going to draw a ray from B to X. So the measure of ABC, the measure of this entire angle, is equal to the sum of the measures of ABX and XBC. So ABX plus XBC equals the measure of angle ABC. And we're going to use this postulate, the angle addition postulate, to prove the linear pair theorem. So the fifth theorem that we're going over, T5, the linear pair theorem, says that if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary angles. Drawing a picture of this, we can see that we have a linear pair, and we're trying to prove that ABC and CBD are supplementary. Let's do an informal proof for this. We are given that two angles, angle ABC and angle CBD, form a linear pair. That's what's given to us in the hypothesis of this if statement for the linear pair theorem. By definition, DEF period is my shorthand for definition, so by definition of linear pair, the non-common sides form opposite rays. So BA and BD would be the opposite rays. And since line AD is a straight line, then we know that the measure of ABD, so ABD, that straight line measuring all the way around, is equal to 180 degrees. And we know this based off of the definition of a straight line and the measurements within the protractor postulate. Now notice that C is an interior point of the angle ABD. So this is where we're going to use the angle addition postulate. So also by the angle addition postulate, the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBD equals the measure of the angle formed by the straight line ABD.
And by substitution, we can say that the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBD equals 180. Because we're substituting in the 180 degrees that is equal to the measure of angle ABD. So since we know they're equal, we can substitute 180 in for that measure. Therefore, angle ABC and angle CBD are supplementary angles by the definition of a supplementary angle, which states that if the measure of two angles add up to be 180 degrees, then those two angles are supplementary. And QED, we have proven that given two angles that form a linear pair, those angles are supplementary.